Hey guys, so I did a little Rite Aid and Walgreens shopping today. So I'm going to try to make this video um, as short as possible, but I have a lot to talk about. Um, I made a couple mistakes and um, I'm still learning, you know, we all, we all make mistakes still. Um, it kind of stinks, but um, at the same time, they weren't, it wasn't terrible so anyhow I'll get right into it um, so at um, so this was with my mom's card here Michelle's frugal living talked about the suave deodorant they're on sale for a dollar ninety nine and when you buy two you get two dollars back so we also have these 75 cent off one coupons um, I didn't have them with me and I thought um, 19 cents a piece was good enough so I went ahead and plus it's a um you can buy eight of them on each card to max it out so I'm gonna just um buy some more and use these coupons so um anyhow I'm completely out of suave deodorant so I was really glad this deal came around um because my girls really like this deodorant so they are a dollar nineteen a piece, so two of them is two thirty eight, and you get two dollars back. So it makes it thirty eight cents for two. So that's really a great deal, even without the coupons. And she said that um, one of the coupons scanned just fine, and the second one didn't. So if you bought two and used a seventy five cent off coupon, you it would still be a money maker just using one coupon for each two you buy. So um, I only bought two papers this week, so I only had two coupons anyways. So not a big deal. And then um, the cover girl, you guys all know that um, the cover girl is buy one, get one half off. And when you spend 10, you get $5 back. So um, I bought more expensive cover girl items on this card. Now I'm guessing this one was tagged for $1.59, but I'm guessing it wasn't on sale. Um, because I think it rang up just half price because it rang up for $3.74 because this one was a little more expensive. But we have $3 off coupons for these here and it had a $2 pilly on it. So it ended up being a really good deal. Um, so the thing is I didn't realize that those CoverGirl coupons are a limit of one. Um, so the cashier had to manually enter two of my coupons so yeah um if you're going to use the covergirl coupons you're going to have to break up your transactions because they're not going to scan through and if your cashier is not going to push them through then it's no go so um but the cashier pushed them through and then she had to have a manager um approval and when the manager came over she said that that's when she said that it's a limit of one and I never paid attention to the coupons. I guess that's a new thing. Um, but she went ahead and approved the transaction anyways, which I was surprised. I thought she was going to just deny it. So anyhow, for that transaction, um, it was 1099 for the, um, advanced radiance with a lay. Um, and I had a, that two dollar freshness pilly on it i had a three dollar off any cover girl with olay coupon so that made that one 5.99 and the mascara was 374 and i had a two dollar off any cover girl product so that made it a dollar 74 and i also used one of these coupons here i have like 20 of them i have a stack <laughs> so uh i used one of those so that made it um 773 for both products minus that coupon or 773 was how much they were after the um freshness pilly and the regular covergirl coupons so then after that three off two Rite Aid Catalina coupon it made it 473 but I got back five dollars in bonus cash for buying two so it was a 27 cent money maker so definitely a good deal and i'm excited to try this it looks like a really good foundation um, i'm probably going to need to get a little sun before i use it though because it is a darker beige color um, but that's not a problem so um, that transaction there my subtotal was nine dollars and 49 cents and i got nine dollars back in bonus cash 
five for the cover girl and four for um, the suave you get two dollars for each two that you buy so I'll show you here my subtotal was nine forty nine and I got back bonus cash earned nine dollars so definitely a good deal there and then on my card I had to break it up into separate transactions um, I actually did this transaction first um, before I learned about that and then I did that one second so yeah but I did break it up into separate transactions because the cashier was really nice and she told me she couldn't push them through so she um, broke it up for me so anyhow on this transaction I bought the four kit shadows they are on sale for $1.49 they're on clearance so for two of those it's $2.98 I bought the Clean Sensitive Foundation. Those are on clearance for $1.99. So two of them was $3.98. That's what I bought on the first transaction. So that, uh, and I used, well, I'll just tell you all in one. I did the lip product in a separate transaction. So the lip product is $2.12. So I used $9, it was $9.08 for all five products. I used $9 in coupons. I had a four off of two. Um, for the foundation, I had a two off one for the lip product, and then I used one of the three, um, three off two Catalina coupons. So that's $9 in coupons. So um, it was $9.08 and I used nine in coupons, so it ended up being eight cents but I got back a $5 bonus cash for buying those and maxed out the deal on my card. So it was a $4.92 money maker. My subtotal for both of these transactions all together was $4.59 and I got back $9 in bonus cash. So it made it a $4.41 money maker. So definitely pleased with that transaction there. And then this was another deal I did at Rite Aid. So I've had this Red Bull coupon on my card for a long time. It's $1.50 off two six ounce Red Bulls. And usually six ounce Red Bulls are about $4 each. So I have been holding onto that coupon waiting for there to be like a bonus cash deal with it. And sure enough, there is one this week. So they are two for six for the 16 ounce. And then minus my $1.50 off coupon, my subtotal was $4.50 and I got a dollar in bonus cash back. So it made it $3.50 for two, which is, like I said, cheaper than one. So definitely a really good deal. I'll show you here um, where they are $3 a piece. And then there's my load to card coupon. And then I earned a dollar back. So definitely a good deal. So then this is my Walgreens haul, guys. I had that 5 off 15 perk again um, from coupons.com. And I saw that Ravi Patel, um, I had been paying cash or using my debit card because I thought in order to use the perk, you had to pay. Well, Ravi Patel um, posted a deal where he actually rolled points and was able to use that. So... After I left the store, I was thinking about why it didn't work, and I I think it was because of that downy load-to-card coupon. I think that's what happened. So, um, but it still ended up being a decent deal, and I rode points, so, um, you know, I can't really complain. I have a lot of points to blow anyways, because I've had a lot of money makers recently. So, what I did here was I bought two of the Band-Aids. They are, and I'm actually out of Band-Aids, so I was glad this deal was here. Um, they are buy one, get one half off and get 3,000 points when you buy two. So the first one was $2.69. The second one is $1.34, and those are the antibacterial waterproof Band-Aids. So it um, ends up being $4.03, but you get $3 back, so it makes it $1.03 for two packs. So definitely not a bad deal. Um, the downy is $2.99 minus that $2 load to card coupon made it $0.99. Cents. And then the L'Oreal, I've talked about this several times. I really like the lip balm and there's an Ibotta rebate. So it's $4.49. We have a $2 um, IVC coupon in the Walgreens booklet. It makes it $2.49 and then you get $1.80 back from Ibotta making it just $0.69. Cents. 
and then I also got the Vera Wang it's $6.99 I used a $4 coupon and I got $2 back from Ibotta making that just 99 cents so my subtotal was $10.50 I rolled $10 in points I got back 3,000 points which is $3 I got back $2 for my Ibotta and well $2 for the Vera Wang and $1.80 for the L'Oreal lip products so it ended up being a cost of three dollars and seventy cents so definitely not a bad deal for cosmetics and laundry and band-aids because I needed them so uh yeah I but my subtotal after the Walgreens IBC booklet was still over fifteen dollars so I'm assuming that because I know you have to have your total over fifteen after IBC after the booklet so I'm assuming that two dollar load to card coupon um, made it not work had I known that while I was doing the transaction I would have just thrown something like a piece of candy in the transaction but I'm gonna wait till tomorrow and see if uh, some of the um, Vera Wang and the other body sprays reset on checkout 51 and I'm gonna try that transaction again uh, but different I'm gonna buy a Nautica and a Vera Wang and a couple other things so anyhow sorry this video was so long but I um, just wanted to let you guys know how my day went and what problems I ran into so thanks so much for watching you guys and I will see you in the next video